hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intend immediately and permanently I call in only the purest of white light to cover you, and I pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrations, okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. It is returned to you, okay? All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled, are dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so you have a king of swords out here and a king of pentacles that may want to work with you. You're going to have a choice to make in a union, in some type of offer. You have two masculines that want to come towards you, and these are masculine from your past. So you have to be mindful with who you are choosing to build a family with. There's a man in here them sees you as wish fulfillment but this person may be putting on a show when he comes into your energy so that you can choose him but the reason why he's doing this is not exactly from a genuine place someone has let their life pass them by while chasing a lot of women this is like a player in his days um and he has played so many games that time has passed him by, by and he may be seeing you as his last resort to have a family. I don't think this is someone you want to be in a relationship with because this is someone that may not really have genuine feelings for you. This may just be someone that wants to settle down with you because he feels like it's time to settle down. I was trying to find a more courteous way to say that, but it is what it is. We're going to be blunt around here because that's who we are. Be mindful who your partner is up with is a masculine that may not have genuine intentions for you. Both of these men, listen, I was just corrected. There are three men here. I was just corrected. There are three men here. There are three. And they all want to make you some type of offer and you only have one genuine one. You have a king of swords, you have a king of pentacles, and you have a higher level soulmate. And they all want to give you an offer. I want you to see how this higher level soulmate appear right before the Six of Cups. This is someone you have a freaking past life connection with, of course, because this is someone that you uh, separated from source with at the same time. So you, it could be that, or it could be that your twin flame failed their mission and you're being sent a higher level soulmate. But you have two other masculines that want to cause you some type of confusion. So be mindful, thread with caution, okay? Someone may want to come from your past and offer you something, but this is not someone you want to have a reunion with. Someone may be having fun memories of you. From what I'm hearing, this person is leaving a family behind and they're wanting to start over with you. They're stuck in some type of toxic family dynamic. This is like some of you being in a relationship with a masculine and he leaves you for the Instagram, Instagram thoughts. It don't it doesn't work out and now he wants to come back to you and things don't work that way someone tried to turn a instagram thought into a housewife and it's just what's not working this woman may have even i don't know like trapped him in a relationship with a child and he's finding out that she doesn't even care for children she never wanted to have children but he may be financially stable so that's why she trapped him with a baby or something like that but someone is going through some type of horrendous oh i said horrendous and this showed up this is at the bottom someone is going through some type of horrendous uh experience and this is something they manifested for themselves so they're gonna have to accept that reality eat that humble pie learn the karma hopefully they learn it this lifetime but someone is wanting to manifest some type of new beginning but they're too toxic to manifest the reality that they want like literally someone re someone manifested a toxic union for themselves they may have been 
treating you like this person was better than you. They may have been trying to downplay you, talk down about you to this person, maybe telling them, oh, like she's nothing to me or he's nothing to me. Um, only to find out the Instagram thought was the nothing. But honey, collective, that has nothing to do with you. That's their own. Listen, someone is struggling in a relationship. Someone blocked their own path. Someone didn't see you for your worth. And they may have even been gossiping about you to other people. Now they're trapped in some type of toxic union they cannot get out of. And they're going to have to make it work because there's no turning back. Honey, you've come too far to turn back now. The hands of time turns back for no one on earth. You must be forward moving, okay? You made your bed, you have to lay in it like the rest of us. Someone was playing games with themselves thinking they were playing games with you. Someone didn't take something serious. They didn't take something serious, but now it's serious. Serious. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to laugh at someone's pain, but this is like karma being served hot to someone. This is karma being served really hot. It says someone mistreated an energy so badly just to end up with a younger energy that don't know nothing, don't care about family, don't care about equal give and take. She's a leech on him. Lord have mercy. This is that one of those feminine energies when you're trying to get some sleep at night. She's on her, her phone on Instagram. Hi guys, how's everybody's doing? Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, or follow the, the uh, page. Mm -hmm. This is one of those. And you're trying to get some sleep 3 a.m. in the morning. And she's out here posting content and telling her followers to, to make sure they like her picture. Lord have mercy. Okay. Now, whoever this is, is having fun memories of you. They want to return. But sources that we don't have time for that. This person is healed. They're moving on. We're sending them a higher level soulmate. So you're going to have to make do with what you decided that you wanted because someone literally told source, I want this Instagram thought. I want this Instagram thought over this star scene because I think the Instagram thought is better than the star scene. So source said, oh, your wish is our command. We've been trying to snatch this person away from you anyways. So as you wish, and they did just that. Now someone is living in a nightmare. Now you have three options. This could be two options for some of you. One of these masculines could be going through some type of healing. Someone may have fallen from grace and the universe stepped in and told them, hey, excuse me. Yeah, you know that little nonsense you were doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have to fix that, okay? If you want to get back to where you were, this is what you're going to have to do. So someone may want to try to reconnect with you to heal, tell you what was happening, why they did something so that you two can move forward. You may not want to have a family with this person. You two may just be cultural with one another, work together or something. I want you to be mindful. There is someone that wants to come in to help you, but they're trying to help you so they can get you trapped into something. And they're trying to think of a way to come towards you so they can't trap you. Be mindful of the people you accept help from. Not everyone is genuine out here. There may be a masculine that's a little bit older than you, and he may feel like you're going to tell him no if he comes as his genuine self. So he thinks the only other way to come in your energy and make you an offer is by deceiving you. It's a, hey, dear, hit there, beautiful thing. Hit there, pretty little thing. Uh-huh, I have this for you. And if you accept offer that offer from that person, honey, he's going to become a nightmare because this is someone with control issues. This is someone that's still karmic, still dark. You see their devil out there? Someone is still in a relationship. Someone may be even married. Mm -hmm. Someone is still married, but they want you to be like a third party in their nonsense because whoever he's with is trapped with him. Someone does not know how to let go of people. They form connections with women and then they hold on to them and say, you're mine for life. They say, uh-uh. I'm telling you, this woman is stuck with him, probably living in fear, wants to get away from him because he has finances. This could be why she got with him. Something like that. Something like that. You may have another king of pentacles in here that's trying to do the right thing, honey. We don't know. We'll figure it out when they come around. 
just be mindful. Source is trying to talk to you. I may be source is telling you to move on. They have a better option for you. Do not be in a hurry for anything. You all know I preach. I'm telling you, do not be in a hurry for anything. You all know I preach on my platform. Never be in a hurry for anything, any offer, any relationship, any position, never in a hurry for anything. As long as it takes for you to get to somewhere, to get to your destination, that's how long it was supposed to take. Everything happens in divine timing, okay? Someone, there's, there's a masculine also deciding how he wants to move forward. Does he want to come towards you? Are you going to forgive him? He did something. He did something to you. All of these people more than likely did something to you behind the scenes. And they're all living in regret because some type of truth has been exposed. I'm telling you. So this could be some, this king of swords could be someone you work with in the past or had some type of interaction with, right? Someone is kind of trying to decide, hey, what's the best way to come in and manipulate this little girl, this little boy, if it's a same-sex relationship? How do I come in? What do I give them to manipulate them? Do I come in as a friend and pretend like I give a crap about what they're going through? They don't give two crap. And you have to be vigilant when this kind of person comes towards you. I've seen that, uh, um, what was it, nine of wands? Was it the nine of wands I saw? And you're being told to be vigilant because these two masculines, either one is for you or neither of them are for you. And if both of them come into your energy and you don't feel like either of them are for you, you are more than free to say no. That's part of our journey as beings we have that free will we have the free will to say no to anything and yes to anything but just be in the know that there are always lessons to learn based on the answer you give and the answers you give are the decisions the actions you're taking it's not always you saying something it's what you are doing most of the time that's what lets the universe know what decision what, what choice you've made the actions you take you partner up with the wrong person you tell the universe hey i haven't grown yet i'm not healed yet i still want to be karmic there's still a lot for me to learn here so i'm gonna stay right here i'm comfortable in toxic build in karmic build just let me be in here and the universe will back up and like as you wish and then you have to learn a hard lesson in this toxic relationship and you don't realize you trapped yourself just because someone is wealthy and they give you some little pocket change but you don't know you've bonded yourself to someone for a lifetime, maybe even a couple of lifetimes. Because now this person has control of you. They, they're telling you where you can go, who you can talk to, what time you got to be home, like you're their child or something, not their partner. Lord have mercy. Who has time for that? I'm telling you. You see, this thing is trying to come out in the reverse. We are going to put it in the upright. You have a higher level soulmate in here that you're supposed to have a brand new beginning with in love. Okay, there I feel like there are three masculines out here. You have one from your past, one you may work with, and then one you haven't met yet. Or some of you have met the one you are supposed to be with, but you're not aware. But they're aware of you. Queen of Cups, they are aware of you. Pay attention to your dreams. Your ancestors could be showing you things right now about who you're supposed to be with and how you need to be mindful of the ones that are coming into your energy to deceive you. Because I guarantee you, there is someone coming in your energy to put a show on. Oh, they're going to be putting on their best act. Oscar worthy. Oscar worthy. Okay. Someone is going to be putting on a act. And it's going to be Oscar worthy. This is the, I'm telling you, Oscar worthy. Because it's going to be a rude awakening when you choose to be with this person. Honey, we are not in no hurry to be in no relationship over here, over there, anywhere. Collective, I'm just saying that to remind you, you are not in a hurry to be anything. I don't care if you have to be friends with a masculine for 10 years, 5 years before you decide they're the ones, then that's just what it is. If they still last for five years, two years, whatever years, then we know who you are. But if you're not sure about someone, don't force nothing to work. If you choose the right person, and this is what's up ahead for you, darling, a marriage, union, matrimony, bounty, harvest, 
Okay, joy, celebration. That's what's up ahead of you. If you choose the wrong person, <laughs> they're going to leave you out in the cold. I'm so glad it came out this way. So I could tell you both. If you choose the wrong person, uh, this is yeah. Okay, this is yeah. Some of you are about to be having a brand new passionate beginning in work that you are going to listen. Promotion, brand new passionate beginning in work. You're about to elevate. Okay, and it's going to be something that you love. You may end up working for your with your soul twin. It was about to come out as four. You may be end up working for your soul twin, your higher level soul mate. But it's not going to feel like you're working for them. It's going to feel more like you're working with them. Okay, there's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, there's a difference when it comes to seeing you work for someone and work with someone. With is team mentality. For is something else you don't want to be part of. Okay. I remember I used to work for this man. He uh, he owned a healthcare business. And he will always correct me. Oh, there was there was another a, a staffing firm I used to work for as well. They reiterated that, reiterated that into me, embedded that into me. They don't work for us; they work with us. And I loved loved that because that tells you it's teamwork. Teamwork, Mister Dream Work. So some of you are about to be working with your soul twin. You may be, you know, honey. Listen. You're about to be working with your soul twin. You're a star seed. Your pathway is clear. If you're not sure about who is coming in your energy, you better tell your ancestors immediately. Please block out of my energy anyone that does not have pure intentions for me. Block them. Delete them from my energy so I can move on. Tell them to move on too. Honey, I'm adding humor to it, but be direct with your ancestors because the actions you take impacts your lineage remind them hey if we end up with the wrong person down here it's going to affect our lineage so make sure whoever is coming into my energy to deceive me you block them do not let them around me okay because i need to be able to sail on to calmer waters and live in peace live in bliss you know embrace that inner child and i can't do that with the wrong energy okay with the wrong energy someone's trying to come to you but they are living in fear you're like how do i tell this person what i did how do i tell this person i had a baby with someone else how do i tell this person i tarnished their business from behind the scenes how do i tell this person i told people they were a s worker baby someone has a huge confession to make to you confession someone may have even gone and got married to someone else mm -hmm. and you didn't know or maybe they thought you didn't know but maybe you knew the whole time and you just let them go and destroy themselves you may have even told someone you're gonna regret this they didn't listen they probably didn't know you knew they didn't know you knew okay mm -hmm. sometimes you gotta let people learn a lesson the hard way Someone was trying to set up, yeah, learn a lesson the hard way. I'm telling you, someone is disappointed because they cannot come back to you. They betray you heavily, heavily. They may want to take action to come in now and try to mend things, but it's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Hey, it's too late. To apologize is it yeah baby it's too late to apologize sir my brother with a weep with you with a weep with a weep with a weep but it is goodbye <laughs> goodbye our lover it's not our lover it's collective it's your lover shoot goodbye her lover goodbye her friend you have been the one you have been the one for her no more listen we have to add a little bit of humor to these reads or else it'll just be that blah 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 yeah someone knows that this that whatever is that was going on in the past whatever you two had in the past is not coming back in the present the future anytime like you're like i'm done you told your ancestors listen if you guys can get me out of this situation with this 
nutty person with this rug right here, this hooligan. If you can get me out of this situation with this person, I promise I'll never come back. And your ancestors, they may be trying to test you by bringing this person back into your energy. And you're just a looking like, I told you, oh, I don't want this person in my energy. And they're probably like, okay, we were just making sure we, we, we were on the same page, okay? We were just making sure that we're on the same page here. It looks like we are. And they're like, uh, oh, sir, we were just joking. You can't come around our baby. Nah, uh, uh, stay where you are. <laughs> stay where you are. You choose that spot right there. You, you see that little spot right there? That's sending pictures of her woo to everybody. Uh huh. Yeah, you stay right there. And our star C will stay where she's at. Baby. Baby. I'm telling you. These lessons, these karmic lessons, people are having to learn them the hard way. You know, this is one of those situations, situations. It's that the universe put a star C in someone's energy. It could be a king of cups, honey. You all know these cups energies. They give me a nostalgic feeling. The king of cups, queen of cups, page of cups. They all give me a nostalgic feeling. So someone from your past is heartbroken. They're trapped in something they can't get out of. They were trying to manifest some type of wicked reality for you. Trap you in something. Have you trapped? Have you destroyed down and out? And that's what they're going through. Someone is going through karma behind the scenes. I'm telling you. And they'll never say anything. Someone is miserable. But when you see this person, what do they look like? Well put together, content, not having a problem in the world. What do you see around them? Water, which means their emotions. Mm, they're having a whole lot of emotions in there. A whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of facade going on. A whole lot. Just a painting pictures of perfection. Like, uh -huh. yeah, this is them, by the way, going through endings. Uh -huh. We're happy. We're a happy couple. This is my young girlfriend. This is my baby mama, the child of my mother. Oh, we're so happy. Like, she she just had the baby, like, a whole year ago. And the baby is doing very well. She's a great mother. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, this heifer is a nightmare, neglecting the babies. He may have even told people that you were neglecting your child. Or your children, for those of you that have more than one. He was telling people you were a negligent mother and everything, only for him to end up with a negligent mother. Some of you ancestors are petty out here. They are petty out here. They said, oh, so you want to tell people our star C, our beloved child, is a negligent mother. Uh-huh, I beg. Okay, okay. We're finding you one. So they found a negligent mother for him. She had a baby. Don't take care of the baby. Poor little baby. Poor little ting ting. I'm telling you. <laughs> Someone manifested an ending for themselves. Absolutely. They're trying to, someone may be trying to take some type of action to come in towards you and cause you an ending. It's going to be the end for them because you're protected. You are protected. I'm trying to tell you. Someone was trying to manifest an ending for you. They manifested an ending for them. They're going through some type of betrayal and they weren't expecting it. They were not expecting it. Okay. Someone betrayed some type of trust you had with them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now they're having to move on. There's someone in here going through some type of new beginning. It's a masculine. This could be the person you're meant to be with. It could be this higher level soulmate, this king of pentacles, this king of swords, Who's it? whoever it is, honey. As we go down, we'll see who's who. Something will be revealed. We'll find out who the true, who the true soulmate is, who you're supposed to be with. And we pray that source can reveal that to us because collective, we don't want you in another karmic cycle that's redundant it's annoying as heck to be with someone you know don't care about you but you're stuck with them because maybe whatever reason you don't have finances to go out on your own or someone is just crazy they have people stalking you all over the city right that's just too much to be doing okay so we're going to find out and don't never let anyone think they have power over you because the universe is say it's the last say always so let's go ahead and figure out what's going on here.
Someone is leaving a toxic relationship. They're moving on. They want to heal. Six has been the recurring theme. I'm telling you, someone is letting go, taking charge of their life, and moving on. Mm -hmm. Six has been the recurring theme number. It has to do with healing, taking back your power, and moving on. Moving on. I'm telling you, moving on. Okay? So let's go ahead and find out who you are supposed to be with. Hopefully, we can get some type of clue. Mm-hmm. Baby. Source is funny. What is going on here? This thing, I knew this card was going to come out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Someone may have been having some type of work affair. Oh, baby. Some type of work affair. And it's possibly being looked into, exposed. There's something going here, going on here. Mm, mm -hmm. There's a guy on this truth. Someone had a work affair with, with a feminine energy. They had a baby. Mm -hmm. And they thought this person was going to be better than you. Someone may be coming out of this cycle. You say, okay. I've learned my lesson, universe. I want to reconnect with the queen of queen of pimp. So I said, who? I bet. What did you say? They can't even get the rest of the words out of their mouth. So I said, excuse me. What did you say? I bet. Don't, don't, don't vex me. Don't vex me. Don't vex me. Will you shut your mouth? Will you be quiet? That's what they're telling them. Collective. A whole new path has been manifested for you. You're being blessed with a whole new path. A whole new path. Okay? The past cannot, re I'm telling you, the past cannot return. They're trying to sneak their way back into your life. You know, like, uh-uh. Source said, absolutely not. If I get with you, they're going <laughs> to leave me to learn a lesson. I already learned this lesson. You stay over there. I'm good. No hard feelings. No pun intended, but you stay where you are. You choose that. I'm helping you stay where you are. Okay? Yeah. Honey, you're about to listen. Do you see what we have out here? We have the temperance. Followed by the freaking Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Honey, somebody, life is about to be glorious. Marvelous, darling, marvelous. Your life is about to be like, mm, you know how Bel Air, uh, Will Smith said, flip turn upside down, but honey, it's going to be in the best way ever for you. You are being protected from anyone coming to attack you. You know there's always malicious people behind the scenes trying to end you because of jealousy. They can't have what you have. They see you, you're in your abundant energy, and they're like, why are you so abundant? Why are you so happy? Why are you this? Why are you that? Like, why aren't you focusing on yourself? Because that's what I'm doing. It's focusing on me. It's jealousy. When you're insecure and unhappy with yourself, when you don't know yourself, you don't understand yourself, let alone the world around you, that's when you focus on other people's lives. I guarantee you, people that are healed, people that know themselves wholeheartedly, they don't give a crap about what's going on with anyone else's life. What you have, who you're with, they don't care about none of that. None of that. So if you're with a woman that's stalking another woman all day, trying to be like another woman, trying to talk down about another woman, you're not with an empress. That's a that is a fraud. You're with a representative because empresses don't move that way. We don't move that way. We'll be direct with our words, but we're not there to be malicious. We're not there to be malicious. Okay. You have three masculines here that are seeing you in different energies. One sees you as very young and vibrant, right? One sees you as a freaking uh, 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 person of high honor. And someone sees you as a freaking bull taking charge of life. They're like, God dang it, it's, it's heaven here. Like, I want to extend an offer to you, but you terrified me. You're worse than me. 
someone sees you as very straightforward and direct and it may terrify them a little they're like oh do i even want to approach this heifer do i even yeah and you're coming off as the queen of source he's a shoo. i don't know about this one here she scares me she terrifies me but it's in a good way but he'll be okay He'll wipe his little boo-boo tears away after a while. He'll realize you don't have any ill eating co uh, collective. Nobody has time, sir. You'll be okay. Okay? You'll be okay. Someone here is just indecisive. We don't have time for indecisive energies. This is someone that I don't know if I I don't know if I'm still ready. I don't know if I'm ready yet to uh make them this offer. It's a at your age, you're still second guessing yourself. I beg. Move aside move aside listen i said move aside and here <laughs> i beg oh god you don't lost your chance move aside so the next person can come up that's certain about what they want because you don't know someone is sitting and going back and forth in their mind i don't know if this is the right one i don't know if i should extend this offer to them i don't Sir, if you don't know, then that's the answer that you have. You already have the answer. You don't know. So if you're not 100% sure about someone, don't give them no offer. Because either you're going to come in and be disappointed or that person is going to be disappointed with you. And you don't like disappointments. And I guarantee you, whoever you're looking at does not like disappointments either. So don't do it. We've made it easy for you. Don't you guys get upset, like frustrated with people that have shaky, shaky mind? They're going back and forth, back and forth. Like, make a decision. Choose a struggle and stick to it. I beg. Choose a struggle and stick with it. Okay? Golly. And they know you're a, a queen of cups, empress energy. And they're still going back and forth in their mind. And this is because someone. Someone has a lot of work to do, but they're not wanting to put in the work to do that, to heal and fix themselves. As you can see, I use the word healing a lot on my energy because that's something I promote. Now is the time. The time has come for us to stop passing these generational curses onto our children and the next generations. We need to stop this madness. You all need to be forward thinking. I remember I had a conversation with one of my colleagues about how when we people of color start businesses, we don't think about the future. So we set prices that are unreasonable because we're a business of minority or the business is owned by a person of minority. So instead of selling a shampoo for $5.99, like we're supposed to sell it, we'll sell it for sell it for what? $12.99. You are supposed to set prices where you're able to stay in business in the long run. You, your stuff is too expensive and then you're wondering why people don't come to your shop to buy. It's because you are hijacking people. You're hijacking people's wallets. It's not because people don't want to celebrate you. People don't want to support you. You're trying to bankrupt the community. Come on now. Come on now. Man, whoever this higher level soulmate is, he thought he was something till he came across you. And I don't know if you've met this person, some of you. You've met this person, some of you. This person is possibly watching you, keeping track of you. I don't mean in like a creepy way, an eerie way. He's just aware of you. And the way you carry yourself is a little shocking to this person, but in a good way, it terrifies them because they know when they come to you, you don't play no games. You're absolutely direct. You don't play no games. You're like, uh, excuse me. Yeah, don't touch me. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't like when you say that. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> and everybody was like, God dang it. This, what the heck did I get myself into? But possibly this is after you they meet you. Like, what the heck did I get myself into? Uh-huh. It's a queen of pentacles going through her ending. This woman keeps showing up in my readings. Just to keep showing up in my readings. She just keeps showing up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
yeah this man here i knew it this king of swords here is a waste of time waste of time whoever this is if you don't know them they are a freaking waste of time this is someone that misrepresents themselves okay they haven't done the work they probably came out here in the re in the upright I don't know why they're up in the why they're here in the upright honestly I don't know why but someone is very shaky shaky in the mental they go back and forth should I send the message no should I send the message no you know how the bubble heads be like this is just a nodding all day yeah that's how that man is and it's kind of unfortunate because this is a king of swords I feel like he should be in the reverse with all that extra activities going on in the background of him meaning in his mental upstairs too much going on upstairs king of swords are direct people very intellectual they see things from a higher perspective they have an understanding of situations in a way that other people do not they see things from different angles just like the queen of swords this one is too shaky shaky for me with this knight of cups coming out on you we don't have time move on my brother move aside oh god shift shift now let's go to the king this king of pentacles i bet what be your say what is your mata here yeah <laughs> secrets baby i don't have time you see how these men are eliminating themselves or maybe this is spirit eliminating them for you is it oh we need you to be aware of this we need you to be oh, listen we need you to be aware you need you see this awareness we need you to be aware of this so king of swords eliminated eliminated mm -hmm. Ooh, the king of pentacles is seeing you as a wish come through oh baby now i'm eager to see what in the world is going on here what this king of swords wants to do is send you a message about extending some type of friendship to you honey you're too old for friendships someone needs to figure this stuff out they have got to figure it out they got to figure it out he wants to extend a friendship to you hey look at that oh my god oh baby keeps getting better and better this king of pentacles this is how he sees you that does not mean that that's how you see him now you see now you don't okay now you see now you don't okay this is how he sees you as someone of high honor privileged right a blessing a wish come through nurturing and i mentioned something about someone may want a family with someone because what they see you as their i think they're i don't know their, their uh, last chance to have a family dynamic because someone spent a lot of their younger years chasing after women this could be that king of pentacles because that's what it's giving me now we have the higher level soulmate here you see this mess here genuine love true love equal give and take pouring into each other truth straightforwardness wish come through okay this person may see you as someone that's committed he wants to commit to you because of the energy you're in but i'm not getting love from this person i think someone is just ready to settle down yeah yeah i think i talked about talk uh spoke of this meme before you are seeing that meme online about that 70 year old man that was now ready to settle down talking about don't judge me y'all but i'm uh i turned 70 something i turned 70 i don't know yesterday or today or something like that i'm finally ready to settle down and i bet you every person that looked at that post busted out laughing and then after they were done laughing what did they do probably go in on him judged him just like he said don't judge me someone here is in a situation like that they spend their younger years choosing the women around they may have been very good looking when they were younger mm -hmm. and they forgot that you don't stay good looking forever you're gonna have to age at some point 
Not that you're ugly when you get older. I'm just saying you can't move the way you used to move when you were younger, just to chasing every little scallywag you see. And he did it for so long, time has passed by, passed him by. Now he's trying to hold on to the last hope he thinks he has, and that's you. Mm -mm, collective, your higher level soulmate is coming about, and you two will see each other as wish fulfillment. Someone is wishing for you, wishing to connect with you. Not the king of Pen the king of swords. Uh, uh, listen, I was going to say the king of sword, the king of pentacles, pointing at the king of swords. This king of pentacles is not it. This king of swords is not it. These could be two warlocks trying to come into your energy to deceive you, and neither of them are the men that you are supposed to be with. Lord have mercy, make it make sense. It, it already does. Spirit already told us. Exhibit one and exhibit two disqualify disqualified chase spirit spirit said we don't have time to play we don't have time to play you have people out here trying to steal your abundance and everything i said people in this freaking five for one comes out you have people out here trying to steal your abundance trying to block your forward movement competing for what does not belong to them and you're still moving forward like you are protected your new beginning your new opportunities love friendship whatever you can think of finances everything is being protected by those by your angels it's all being protected you will have wish fulfillment that is your uh birthright that is your portion to have wish fulfillment okay to have wish fulfillment judgment has been called you have foresight of the situation someone may want to come in extend you some type of friendship i feel like there's an ulterior motive to it i'm telling you there's an ulterior motive to it so just be mindful this is a whole plan for them to come in your energy and mislead you you see this freaking five of swords someone is coming in to do you something be mindful yeah illusions be mindful be mindful be mindful. Mm -hmm. Yes, be mindful. Okay? Be mindful. What is this Ten of Wands in the reverse? Too big a burden. Oh, okay. Continuous pressure about to collapse, solve key problems, reassessment priority order. Mm, okay. This family here. You know, the family that's fighting amongst themselves up here, trying to take action to prevent you from receiving your ears of pentacles. They see you as a burden, trying to stop you as a burden. They, they can't understand how one person is this much of a burden for them. You didn't do anything to these people, by the way. You've been minding your little old business, staying to yourself, going on about your kingdom business, sources business. Sources go do that. You do it. Sources stay here. You stay there. Sources shut your mouth and you shut your mouth. These people don't like that. They say, why is this person so protected? I don't understand why they're so protected. We're trying to manifest endings in their lives. And every time we manifest something, their ancestors or somebody got to keep uh, step in and protect them. Why is this person so protected? Those people are absolutely pissed off at you. They're pissed off at each other, but they're more pissed off with the fact that you're so protected. They don't understand why does one person have this much protection? Don't worry. You all sit back and you will find out. The show is not over yet. It's just beginning. You will find out. It, everything is not uh, uh, being illuminated yet, but it shall be. You will find out. Someone asked that question a lot. Why is this person so protected? And if every time you try to do this to someone mm -hmm, and something supernatural is happening and you're not able to destroy them, literally every time you do something, that should tell you that you probably should not be doing it. That you took a wrong turn. You need to reverse, reverse, reverse. Maybe you're at a dead end roll. I don't know if you're not able to reverse and you're just parked there coming up with new plans on how to keep trying to defeat someone is not it's not going as you plan 
this person is going to have a wish come true. Whatever you all have been trying to block is still happening. Sorry to uh, be the bearer of bad news for you all, but for our collective, uh -huh. hey, this is what's coming for you. They couldn't block it. The Most High said no. Judgment has been called in the situation. They tried to manifest that ending for you, whether it was death, whatever it was. Your ancestors said, well, uh, yeah, we don't have time for that. You need to sit on down. You're acting above your pay grade. We got to humble you. Humble that self before thy ancestors of your opponents is what they're telling them. And we just might let you see another day. Mm -hmm. Some of you ancestors don't play about you. I knew this freaking uh, 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 king of cups was going to come out and judgment is being called on him. Someone did something they weren't supposed to do. He weren't supposed to do something, but he did it anyways. Judgment has been called on him. This could be the person that tried to manifest some type of ending for you. May have partnered up with the, you know, the Jesse Bell he found on Instagram, on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. I don't know how you find people on YouTube, but folks, it came out of my mouth. So I'm going to say it. There's something going on with this woman. It's not too well. She could be sick. Maybe someone has some type of mental illness. He, he, uh, maybe he told people you had a mental illness collective. Turns out, you know, the, the Instagram thought that he picked up had the mental illness. And he's been trying to pass her off as a star seed, trying to pass her off as an empress. And people are looking at him like, oh, man, you're bugging. You may be bugging, but we're not bugging. We don't see an empress. We see her for what it is. That's an Instagram thought right there on your arm. And he's there arguing them down. Uh-uh, this is an empress right here. This is an empress right here. Now, somebody probably found out this empress has something, and she passed that something on to him. Something is going on here. But this is judgment for this person. This is judgment. This queen of wands here is going through some type of ending, I'm telling you. There could be one in here to partner up with, a, 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 um, what is it? that partner up with a uh, emperor and she thought she was going to receive something from an emperor he's not this man wants to go and get married and settle down he already knows who he's supposed to be married to okay he already knows who he's supposed to be with this man already knows who he's supposed to be with i'm telling you and he's ending whatever he has with this toxic woman he said Mwah. I'm tired of your pretentious nature. I'm tired of you pissing on me and telling me it's rain. Someone sees you as abundant. This king of pentacles is not giving me like we're going to be getting married or something. I don't know. He's not. I feel like you're supposed to be with someone else. I feel like someone wants to commit to you because of how they see you. Not because they genuinely care about you. Okay? Not because they genuinely care about you. It's more so how they're seeing you, what they know about you. Because King of Pentacles are very intuitive. So he may know that you are someone that's very special. You're special. You're very angelic. And even though he knew that, he possibly did something previously to interfere with your forward movement. And he's having some type of change of mind, change of heart, whatever he wants to call it. Yeah, he went within about a situation. So now he may want to commit to you. Lord, it's too much going on. What is up with these masculines? The fact that they came out bang, bang, bang is like, oh, baby. What is going on here? What's going on? What? What's going on? Please let us know. Because we got to know so we don't go making the wrong choices. Because <laughs> Lord, Lord knows we do not want to end up in another karmic cycle with another karmic male or female. Because the men aren't the only toxic one. Let's give it a lady. Some of you are toxic as heck out there pretending to be, oh, I'm a star C. Everybody calls themselves a star C out here nowadays. Everybody. Until you get in a relationship with them, and then you find out, oh, careful. Don't you ever let that word come out of your mouth again. Mm 
Someone who have passed something on to a, 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 a emperor as well. I don't know if this is an emperor that's in the reverse, right? This car looks like it's trying to come out in the reverse. Like someone is trying to interfere with you receiving your abundance is what I'm getting. Someone is trying to interfere with balance, with justice. It looked like it was coming out in the reverse because it was like sideways. So someone is trying to interfere with justice. They're trying to steal your abundance and it's not going to end up well for them. It's not going to end up in their favor. I think that's what it is. This could be someone from your past, by the way. They may have even stole something from you in the past and now they may want to do it again. Maybe they tarnished your image before and they were able to get something out of that, some type of fulfillment out of that and they're trying to pull it up again. And your ancestors have had enough of this heifer. Is it, mm, 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 mm. You know what? We've been tolerant of you long enough. That this, this is the end of the road. Exile. And they don't care if you have some type of twin flame connection with this person, soulmate connection, whatever it is. Yeah, he's not. He, yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. I don't know who's going through a divorce here. I heard something about a divorce just now. You may want to make sure things are being looked into that whoever you're divorcing, man or woman, does not have someone that she or he has a relationship with behind the scenes. Like she's not paying people or corrupting people to make sure things go in her favor. Might want to be looking into that. Someone is interfering with justice. Like you're trying to end a relationship and someone is interfering with that going smoothly. Like someone wants to complicate your life because they don't want you in this energy here. They say, I'd be damned if he ends up with her. I'd be damned if she ends up with him. Yeah, she's not happy. She's not happy. Someone is living in anxiety. This is one of the crazy women. You try to leave them. And if you leave, if you if you walk out that door, I'm going to take you for all you've got. And I'm going to tell people you do this, you do that. And maybe it worked before on him. It's not working anymore. That brother is like, I'm still out. I'm still out. You can do what you want. I'm leaving. That's his way of saying, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, so you can do what you want. Tell them what you want. I'm telling you, she's living in fear. This man is done. Someone interfered with some type of balance being brought into a situation. And now they're living in fear because, the, because they don't want the truth being exposed. It's already exposed. The heck do you think you're hiding? People already know. Someone may be out here talking about nobody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows the tricks you pulled up. Everybody knows your secrets. Come on now. How far did you think you're going to get with that? Hmm? How far? How far? How far? Come on now. How far did you think you were going? Listen, these cards keep trying to come out in the reverse, and I'm going to pay attention and let sources speak. This person right here from your past, oh my lord. Whoever this is, they're going through some tumultuous times right now. The wheel of fortune is out here in the reverse. It said unfortunate. Listen. <laughs> Listen, literally, literally what I say is what's on the card. It says, unfortunate, step back, temporary, destiny always changes, working against the flow, rely on inner strength, try to defy fate. Oh, my Lord. Someone tried to change things to make it go in their favor. Someone was doing a lot of manipulation. This is like trying to, for it's like the wheel wants to go in the forward movement, the clockwise position in the clockwise direction and you're trying to force it to go back and that clock is squeaking because it, that wheel is squeaking because you're turning it in the wrong direction it said no you're just 
destroying me. Stop it. No, no, no. And then you break the wheel and you're here. Now, Sora's got to come in, uh, send his, you know, creators, creator gods to come and fix the freaking wheel because somebody had to go and be stubborn and dumb enough to break the... No one has ever broke the wheel of fortune before, sir. W what were you thinking? What were you thinking, sir? And then you... and uh, Oh, my lord. His little concubine there. Hmm. Selfishness. Remember what I said about her? Selfishness, self-righteous, martyr, false spirituality, neglecting spiritual development, persecution, despair, forgive. Honey, please, ain't nobody forgiving her. He's not forgiving her. He's tired of her. Can you imagine someone giving you something like that? Do you really forgive them? Uh, no. No. And someone may have been dumb enough to marry this person. Maybe she played some type of mental game with him. And told him, well, you know, both of us have it now, so we might as well just stay together. And he actually went and got with the person, possibly even committed to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know if this is like an open relationship or whatever this is, but it's a hot mess that com, that net, that org, not that gov, because we don't do the GOV over here. They be taking people money and taxes and stuff like that, you know? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, but someone martyred themselves, their queen of wands right there. A sister did herself a number. This is someone extremely toxic. This is that one of those people, as soon as something happened, they want to leave. And then, you know, things calm down. Now they want to stay. They love you again. As soon as something happened, they want to leave. They're out the door. They're in and out, in and out. Madam, I don't do in and outs. You're either out or you're in. And the day you decide you're out, it's financial. There's no coming back. That rebound stuff, that's for when you're younger. Teenager, maybe your early to mid-20s, possibly late 20s. Once you hit your 30s, your 40s, honey, who has time for that mess? Who has time? There's a waste of energy. As My friend, would you, will you shift? Shift. I'm telling you, shift. Shift over there. Someone has destroyed your life. Someone went and got with a feminine en energy that is so consumed with herself, she doesn't take care of her either her child or him. Because when you're in relationships, you're supposed to take care of your partners as well. Both of the whole family is neglected. All sis care about is hi, remember to like, comment, share, don't forget. Hi guys, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm marvelous. I'm doing great today. Hey guys, I just bought, bought a new set of bikinis. Like, want to see? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. <laughs> Let's go, karma. <laughs> Someone trapped themselves in a horrendous relationship and they can't get out. They may be even trying to communicate with you. They don't have your number. Listen, someone is not happy. Not happy at all, at all. Whatever abundance you have coming in, you're not going to be sharing it with this person because they made their decision. Okay? They made their decision. That lady is so single online. So single. Is that Marianne? Don't you have a, a didn't you just have a child? Where's the baby? We want to see the baby. Oh, um, the baby's with with the dad. Um, I'm taking some time off. Marianne been taking time off since the baby was born. Hi guys. How do you like my after my postpartum uh belly? I mean ship. Hi guys. Don't even know what to post because she, she posts every second of her, her life on there. So some posts you see, there's nothing under there because Marianne ran out of words to say. She said everything. Maybe even repeating herself. Yeah, Marianne, aren't you in a relationship? Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Not right now. Like we're on a break. On a break? Does he know you're on a break? No, who cares? 
But someone, someone put themselves in a nightmare. I'm loving you, Marianne, because you'll be the, listen, these men, some of these men are out here mistreating good women. I love it when women like you come around to teach them a lesson. I don't even feel bad for him at all, whoever this masculine is. This is a lesson he needed to learn. This is someone's karma that they needed to learn this lifetime or one of your mean karmas they needed to learn this lifetime. And when they're done learning it, they'll never go back. They're going to be forward moving and will know how to take their power, stick to it, move on forward with life, right? Not be easily persuaded because they see a pretty face or a big behind. You are, some of you men need to learn to stop being so superficial. This is why you, you end up, I'm telling you, this is why you end up with women because they have big behinds, but then they're busting the windows of your car because you said hello to a feminine energy while you were walking with your partner, of course, holding her hand and everything. And just because you decided to be polite and say hello or respond to a hello mm -hmm, battle. Next thing you know, I bust the windows of your car, girl. You better I call the police on your ASS. Like, come on now. Because I said hello, and you're like, hey, this, this relationship is done. But what do they do three weeks later, collective? Mm, they're right back with that person. <laughs> they are right back with that karmic. Someone's victory was short-lived in trying to defeat you. Be mindful with this king of swords because this person is still determined to take you down. I'm telling you, source is very loud and clear about this king of swords. They're not who you're supposed to be with. This person is trying to cause you an ending. I don't know if someone is intimidated by you or you agitate them. It's like they've made it their mission to end you, but they're going through an ending. And they're still determined to end you, even though they're going through an ending. Honey, we don't have time for this mess. This, this is a man that didn't mature the right way. Someone is very reckless. Very vain. And he doesn't even realize it, I'm telling you. Yeah, then I said this king of... Mm -mm -mm -mm, this king of pentacles is not the one. Thank you for clarity on that source. Look at that from your higher level soulmates. I'm telling you, source, you're marvelous. This man here, I said, mm -mm. I know this card is down here, but this is how he's seeing this woman. That don't mean that's what he, he really feels for her. It just means this is how he sees her, that like he knows the truth about you. You're of high honor. You're a healer. You are true. You're a wish come through. You're the ideal woman to marry. That does not mean he has emotions for you. He just knows you and he can make a lot of bread together. Don't marry this person. Do not marry that person. Don't even accept any offer from them. Okay? You see how this growth acceleration fell on your higher level soulmate? What does this say? Acceleration. Approaching goals. Fast action. Communication. Incoming message. Bring good news, unrestricted uh, alacrity, okay? That's your higher level soulmate. Honey, please, I'm never going to see anything. In, in, oops, a king of cups, king of wands, king of swords, whatever, next to a higher level soulmate. And I tell you, hey, go be with the king of... Uh, no, thank you. We're going with their, their temperance energy because they understand. Unless they come out in the reverse, they're always the option for me. Yeah, as long as there's no like crazy cars around there, I'm telling you, this man sees you as a queen of swords. Okay, this man sees you as a queen of swords. He wants to communicate with you. He wants to communicate with you. He may be sending you some type of message, something of that nature, to clear something up, make you an offer, propose something to you, tell you he sees you as wish fulfillment. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. He knows something is going on with you. Something could have been illuminated to him and he knows you're going through something. Someone else may have taken some type of action against you and he's aware of it. He's aware. Someone knows a lot more about a situation than you are aware of. And he may be bringing it to your attention. And there could be someone in the background telling him, don't do that. I don't think you should say that. Please don't send that to them. 
right? Yeah, she's not happy. He's not happy. Whoever he's trying to expose or send you the message about something they did to you. Yeah, she is not happy. She's in sorrows right now. You're like, please, please don't tell her. She may sue me. He may sue me. Like, yep, that's exactly why I'm sending it. Sent. Oh, oh, oh. This is when she gets her minions to try to block the message. Telling the post office people, hey, go down there. She's supposed to get a message. Take the message. Make sure she doesn't get it. That's how they move. That's how they be moving. Mm-hmm. Causing blockages. I'm telling you. Stopping something. Interfering. I am telling you. Did it? Yeah. Stopping something. Trying to interfere with your forward movement. He's going to expose something to you about an action someone took to interfere with your work because they were trying to hide you. They didn't want the world being known, world knowing about you. They don't want you being seen in high honor, you being uh, 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 recognized for your work. They want you hidden. Someone did something, something to sabotage someone else's work. They don't want you seen, and that's what this man is going to reveal to you. Someone interfere with your work, block either your work, your content, something, block a promotion for you at work, something like that. But they interfere with your life in some way, shape, or form. And she's disappointed because she can't confuse him anymore. The truth is known about what she did to interfere with your work. And it's going to be exposed. She can't hide it. I'm telling you, he's still taking action. He's still taking action. Think. <laughs> He's still taking action. Okay? Honey, please. That man don't got time for all that. Please, please, please don't. Please don't what? You end at someone's uh, livelihood. You play with someone's money. That's something you never do is play with people's money. You know that. As a queen of swords, you know that. That's why you're going through a loss right now, too. Or you're about to. You know to never play with people's money. Girl, that's the number one rule. Don't ever play with people's money. Man, I remember when I used to work as a payroll, oh, my law, payroll personnel, payroll manager, whatever you want to call it. I mean, the title was irrelevant. When I tell you the burden of trying to make sure people get their money on time, you are done. Oh, baby. I don't like playing with people's money. Uh-uh. I don't like playing with people's money. When I tell you the burden that came with it, mm, 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 mm. but I loved every second of it. I was like, oh, this is so much responsibility. With great power comes great responsibilities. <laughs> oh my God. And I took my job serious. I took it a little bit too serious. But honey, when you're managing people pay, you got to be like, yeah. You got to take that stuff serious. You can't be playing around with people's money. And I had someone in the background trying to sabotage my work, playing with people's money in the background as well, trying to make it look, out, look like I didn't know what I was doing. She thought I didn't know what she did. I knew, honey. I knew. If you're watching me, I knew, darling. I knew what you all were doing. Trying to make it seem like, oh, you know, she don't know the difference between salary and hourly. You mother sucker, you. If the Most High was not touching my life, if my ancestors were not following me around and telling me to be quiet, honey, the African would have came out and I would have went African on you. In that order. Okay. Talking about, please, 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 that man said...
That man said, I don't care. <laughs> If it's Reese, need us know. I'm gonna get, get this message to this man. I'm gonna get this message to this person to who it belongs to. <laughs> and then he leaped out. <laughs> and as he's leaving, her voice is getting smaller and smaller. Please. He can't even hear her anymore and she's still saying please. <laughs> and he whooshy like an eagle <laughs> on a mission. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I literally can hear someone saying, please, please don't show it to her. Please don't give it to her. He said, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Whoo! 21. It sums down to three. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. <laughs> I should not be laughing at people pain, but who oh, Lord these Cormacs. Please, please. Whoosh. 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 Da 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 da. <laughs> Delivered. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get back into this. Let me collect myself. Cynthia, collect yourself. Behave yourself. Chai, <laughs> chineke. See you, see your life, madame. You don't fuck up. Oh, shy. <laughs> Whoo. It said, uh, 21, three, you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. Another three. So you're going to be celebrating something collective. You're going to be having some type of victory very soon, connecting with new people that are very genuine with no ulterior motives, people not trying to steal from you. You're about to be working and living a very abundant life, okay? It's how you are an original. You better know it, source. You better know it, ancestors, okay? Innovative thinker and excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey, convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. Okay, now, that was very, very deep. Dang, spirit. Seven, having to do with luck, abundance, you know, favor. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gave you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. With that said, sir, ma'am, collective, I am on my mission. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.